Hi, um, I'm back. It's been a while and there's been an awful lot going on, which is why it's been a while since I have sat down and um, recorded any kind of video for you guys. Um, I did um, record uh, a few videos last year, um, back at Easter, when the last one you watched probably saw was my potting plants video, and I did um, record a whole um, series of videos during that day, but um, unfortunately a lot of things happened um, not long after that, and editing and getting those videos up to you just um, didn't happen, and I have looked at those videos since and have realised that with everything else that's gone on that just feels strange um, putting them up. So I thought I would come back and give you guys a bit of an update on what's been happening with Cohen and everything like that. So um, on, I may as well start in April. So um, on the 27th of April, we went down to um, Westmead for his usual checkup and um, to get um, some scans done for the end of the clinical trial that he was on. Um, now, the reason it was the end of that clinical trial was because his body had started to have some major side effects um, to that medication. So um, it was decided under advice from our oncology team that um, it was best to take him off those meds. Um, the side effects were um, his thyroid playing up and his kidney function um, being greatly diminished, um, so the side effects definitely weren't, um, you know, he'd been taken off it a couple, like a month prior um, to the 27th, so we were going down to have the scan done just to see where everything was, because it's just a um, routine scan and x-ray that they do to, CT scan and x-ray that they do to um, finalise the clinical trial data, and um, yeah, he was had been really well. Um, so we went down and had the scan done and um, we were sitting in the waiting room. Um, I was sitting in the waiting room actually waiting for Cohen to come out after having the CT scan done and the radiologist came out to me and um, asked me if we had an appointment to see the oncologist that day and that um, if I didn't, that I, we couldn't leave the hospital until we had seen somebody. So I knew it wasn't great, um, but I didn't quite realize how bad it was until we saw um, his oncologist. Um, so when we saw her, we were told that um, his right lung um, was completely full of fluid um, and they were totally gobsmacked by the fact that he still had um, 100% oxygen rate at this stage. He was walking around like he was perfectly fine and everything was okay, but um, he had one lung that was pretty much completely co collapsed. So um, they wanted to book him in to get the fluid drained off. So that's, it was ended up, you know, our visit down to Westmead turned into a two week stay. Um, so yeah, he had the fluid drained and some more tests done um, and we were advised that unfortunately um, the cancer had um, spread. So it's now covering um, his, it was covering his whole um, right chest wall. Um, the pleura is what they call it. Um, so yeah, so he was, um, we were actually told that um, he was terminal. So, um, that was an extremely difficult time. Sorry, I'll try and contain myself. Um, so that was an extremely difficult time for all of us. Um, and, um, we were introduced to a whole different team of people and the whole situation changed very rapidly. Um, so after two weeks and uh, what well, was after about a week, they put a second drain in because it wasn't draining enough fluid. So they put a second drain in and um, we were there for two weeks in total. Um, and then we came home and came home, we were home for a week and then um, back down to start um, intravenous, more intravenous chemotherapy. Now, 
um, as I've discussed in my other videos before, Cohen's huge milestone that he had was getting his central line um, taken out because he absolutely despised that thing. Um, so he decided that he didn't want another central line put in. So my amazingly tough human child, <laughs> my baby boy, um, decided that um, he was he was happy to just have the intravenous chemo done through um, a cannula that they put in each time he went to have um, chemo. So yeah, so it was a few months of um, chemo and he did, they also did a couple of bouts of radiation. Um, they did a biopsy to send off, but um, there wasn't enough um, alive tissue to um, get the result, any results from the biopsy. Um, so basically they were pretty happy with how he was and he was um, stable um, for a little while. So then we um, decided there was another drug that um, they could offer him to go on to keep him stable, which he has now been on for about six months. Um, and he has, everything had been pretty stable, um, which was great. Um, I mean, he's still living, he was still living with cancer and, um, he was still classified as terminal, but, um, things were stable. So nothing was growing, which was brilliant. Um, however, he, over Christmas, he discovered a lump on his right side and um, we went down and had that looked at and they um, did a biopsy after, well, they did x-rays and ultrasounds and CT scan and PET scan. And um, when they did the, got the results of the PET scan, it showed that, um, unfortunately, the lump that he discovered on his side, there's actually three of them on his side. It's on his um, right rib cage at the back. Um, there's actually three lumps there, all of which lit up on the PET scan. Plus he has um, some, um, a tumor lighting up now on his right scapula and also some tumors that are now lighting up in his left lung. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, he's currently still on his meds. Um, that were keeping everything stable. Um, they're just keeping him on them for now. Um, hopefully that they actually are slowing the growth of the tumors. Um, we've done biopsies and they've been sent off to ha be studied um, so that we can get the genealogy of them and hopefully find a treatment that will treat it better if there is one. Um, so, Basically, we are just taking it day by day. Um, he's having a few um, side effects. He has lost a lot of weight. Um, he has to maintain his weight at the moment um, so that we can stay on the meds um, because if he loses too much weight, then, you know, it's not really healthy to be losing weight constantly for him. Um, he's only very tiny at the moment, so. He's been really good spirits, surprisingly, which I mean, not I shouldn't say surprisingly because Cohen always has very high spirits. Um, so, I mean, that's a very quick, brief rundown. He is he is doing well. Um, we are just aiming to get him to do as much as he wants to do um, and live his life to the fullest. He's um, going back to school so he's going to be in year nine this year um so yeah so we're just you know doing everything we can to make him as comfortable as possible and have him be able to achieve the things that he wants to achieve he has many goals now he has asked me um if he he wants to do an update um well a, sort of an update he wants to um do a video himself um, so when he gets that up I will put a link in my description box down below 
um, so that you guys can head over to his channel and give him a bit of support um, because he really wants to tell his side of the story and um, you know just be there so that and tell other people what he's gone through so that he can maybe possibly help another kid going through this so um, I hope that's okay um, that was a I know I did a really fast update but as you understand if I go too depth in it'll be you know probably a little bit much and I'll get myself a bit overwhelmed so um, at the moment we're doing okay we're just taking it one day at a time um, and I will keep you updated um, but just before I go I just want to say a huge thank you to um, everyone who has sent messages of support whilst I haven't while I've been MIA um, it that's one of the reasons why I've come back to film this video because I know there's so many people out there that are actually following Cohen's story and actually genuinely care about how he's doing um, and if any bit of me sharing this story helps bring awareness to osteosarcoma um, that would be brilliant um, yeah so I will upload again shortly um, I've trying to get back into the crafting world um, and doing some more things so maybe down below um, we can keep it a bit brighter if we can and give me some ideas down below of um, what things you'd like to see crafting wise um, or DIY wise um, so yeah I will show you I did finally finish his flag um, so I'll show you that I'll make another video of that um, and show you his gaming setup and stuff like that and all the things that he's got going on um, but I just thought um, I'd keep this a little bit brief um, and literally just an update about Cohen because, um, you know, now that I've spoken about it and done broken the ice, so to speak, then um, it'll be easier going forward. So I hope you all have a great day and you all um, enjoyed your break over the holidays. And if you've got kids going back to school, I hope that you enjoy the time now having no children in your household i'm actually um going to save us some time as much as i love having the boys at home i'm actually going to save us some time even though i am still working full time so um i'll go into that in another video um so thanks if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and importantly hit the bell notification and select all um so that you do um, get notified when I post again. But um, that's all from me and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks, bye.